Hello, this is Zhongwan Xin, CPET, Virginia Tech. I'm Bo Chan Kim. Yeah, today we're going to talk about the uh, thermally enhanced high speed switch module. And the proposed switch module will reduce the uh, operating temperature of the semiconductor package device and guarantee the uh, uh, reliable operation of the converter system. To verify the performance of the switch module, the experimental results when the switch device is directly mounted on the PCB is shown first. The thermal image is taken when, the, when each module of the two-module boost converter processes 700 watt with forced air cooling. According to the span number 2, the temperature rise of the gallium nitride device is 75 degrees C, assuming that the room temperature is around 30 degrees C. And this is beyond our, requ beyond our requirements, so there is a need to a uh, technique to reduce the temperature rise of the semiconductor devices. Um, the previous version of PCB with thermal VS had thermal pass from junction to heat sink uh, through thermal VS. And this method showed limitations for providing a good thermal pass to dissipate excessive heat flux from the chip. To improve the thermal performance, thermally enhanced PCB was developed that has cavity at the center of PCB. And in this cavity, the DBC with hot uh, heat source, which is chip in this case, was placed. And the bottom side of DBC and PCB was attached to the heat sink. And the electrical connections between DBC and PCB was made by thin copper strips on the top side. And by doing this, the thermal pass can, be, can have the lowest thermal resistance with electrical isolations between the power loop and the heat sink. And this bar chart shows the expected thermal resistance reduction with the thermally enhanced module. By getting rid of thermal resistance of thermal VS, the thermal resistance could be reduced by uh, 1.5 degrees per watt less uh, than conventional PCB modules. And to verify the concept, uh, two samples for each case was fabricated, uh, and the junction temperature was monitored by applying DC current to dyes. The surface of the module was coated by black dielectric material, so so it can enhance the emissivity. So so that the accurate thermal image could be acquired. And this is the uh, measurement result with junction temperature versus applied thermal load. Uh, the thermal enhanced module showed 35 degrees C lower junction temperature at 24 watt thermal load. And this, is, this result is, is, was matched well with the predicted values. So the concept could be verified by uh, this experiment. So now let's look at the detailed fabrication process. Each DBC module was designed for one phase lag and this layup illustrates the packaging process. Firstly, uh, on DBC, the power loop and gate loop were integrated so that the loop size could be minimized. And then the top side of DBC was connected to the bottom side of PCB to have the stable mechanical connections. And copper ribbons were used to make electrical connections between DBC and PCB, and heat sink was attached to the bottom copper of DBC by large solder joint, so the heat sink area could be maximized. On PCB side, the signal inputs and other passive components were placed. So now let's look at the step-by-step -step DBC fabrication process. Firstly, uh, DBC substrate was made by wet chemical etching process and laser louder, and, and the surface was coated by silver to prevent the surface oxidization. And the fixture was prepared that has uh, cavities for components, so the components can be aligned during a vacuum leaf flow process. And this fixture was placed on DBC, and this DBC was fixed on the graphite board for the vacuum leaf flow process and components were placed in cavities with SAC-305 lead-free solder. And finally, uh, figure 5 shows the packaged module after the vacuum leaf flow process. Here you can see that all components are fixed in positions. And since we used the silicon carbide diode in a bare die form, the top side was connected by 10 mm aluminum bone wires. Uh, here you can see uh, two gain switches, diodes, opt capacitors, gate drivers with, uh, with passive components. The thermal enhanced switch modules are utilized in a soft switching boost converter topology. 
of which the input voltage ranges from 100 to 200 volts and the output voltage is 390 volts. For higher power, two modules are interleaved as shown here. The module processes 1 kilowatt per each and the total power becomes 2 kilowatts. The LC tank guarantees the zero voltage switching of all switches. The auxiliary inductor LA in this topology experiences a uh, high voltage and high RMS current and prone to the high temperature rise and also becomes the possible cause of the efficiency de degradation. So the constant flux inductor is used to avoid these problems. This slide shows the shape of the two module converter fabrication with the thermally enhanced switch modules and PCB. The PCB contains all passive elements such as input and output capacitors, auxiliary input inductor, ca inductor capacitor tank, and isolated DC power supply block to power the driver and the controller. On the top side, you can see capacitors, and beneath the bottom side, the magnetic elements and the heat sinks of the switch modules are shown. Now you are seeing the real uh, thermally enhanced uh, high-speed switch module here. We have a total DVC substrate here, and we have uh, two switches in parallel here. And we have a uh, silicon carbide bare die diode here, uh, and it's wire bonded to the drain of the switches. And we have uh, two output capacitors here to minimize the power loop length. And we also have the, uh, gate, the gate driving circuitry here and here. These two ICs are for the gate driving, and these resistors are for the uh, gate charging resistor. And also we have uh, two caps for each switch to maintain the voltage level of the turn off and turn on interval. And these two small caps are for the uh, decoupling capacitor to power the driving IC. Okay, this is the uh, whole converter system with the thermal in its high speed switch module. We have uh, two switch modules here and here with a line which is aligned to the cavity of the PCB. We have uh, passive components as the uh, input capacitors and the output capacitors here, and also with the auxiliary capacitors here. And in the bottom side of the PCB, you see the magnetic elements such as two boost inductors and auxiliary inductors, and also the uh, isolated DC-DC power block to, sub to supply the power to the uh, driver circuitry, and also the fans, and also the heat sink, of the, uh, uh, which is connected to the bottom of the switch module. Now the experimental results with the proposed switch modules are shown. We still cool down the semiconductors with forced air cooling and do not use any liquid coolants. The thermal image shows the temperature of the gallium nitride switches and their drivers in this much area. In the idle state, the temperature of the switches, spot number 1 to spot number 4, is around 30 degrees C. And that of the drivers, spot 5 to 7, is 40 degrees C approximately. When the converter processes 2 kilowatts, the switch temperature is saturated at 55 degrees C, which demonstrates the temperature rise at 25 degrees C, which is much lower than the previous slides. Okay, that's all for our video. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your attention. Hope I can see you next year. Bye.